Stan Jim McGuire's, and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech as we get into the campaigns of Howl's Heroes. And last time, we began to experiment with our brand new arrow and realize that the Inferno arrow is ridiculous, and I love it, and I intend to use it, utilize it more. Also, some minor tweaks to who should be piloting what mechs. And overall, I was rather impressed and quite happy with the results. So, let us continue to push on with the Pony Express. This will be a 6 of 25 priority salvage, 275,200 Siebels at 3.5 skulls so let's get underway and see if we can't cause a little bit of havoc we are here to annihilate a convoy and annihilate it we shall hopefully uh, if the convoy has already shown up right there which it may have oh it has we, we are in visual range uh, oh goodness uh well that's not the worst thing in the world because i brought all of my artillery are you are you the actual oh no you're not the convoy stop the convoy this is the convoy look gas uh, towards is somewhere in there okay so coach is first in the catapult and nobody's gonna be able to hit the bronze out of a barn and that's kinda to be expected reserve uh death crusade is up in the thanatos and he actually will engage i believe so we'll set ourselves over to acid and he can shoot from here 8.1 8.1 yeah the accuracy is not exactly what i'd call all that good but it doesn't have to be because we brought artillery and we know exactly what it is we intend to do so i'm just going to drop this artillery right on in here indirect fire from the thumper artillery high explosive blast away I'm gonna make Primary target damage. dart is already I'm under fire, fire which is lovely we'll move slightly to the side we're losing our spawn protection it is true but artillery shells are starting to go out and that's the important bit on that that actually does not appear oh no the thumper is part of the primary you guys are not now that i can actually see the crosses on that are you moving this direction to get out we do not have much time to deal with this problem i may actually need to run a spotter ahead on through jester's up and jester is in the vulture and jester is about to have a little bit of fun See, actually, Howell might be able to go first. If Howell can actually identify a couple more targets, that might be uh, just right next to Ideal. Rush on forward, and yes, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to see everybody in this convoy. Oh, Pirate Marston. Uh, we're, first of all, going to not bother with the Warlord, but we are going to target the Thumper, and we're going to fire everything we've got. We managed to miss every single shot, but that was to be expected. But that wasn't the point of this particular exercise. No, the point was to give Jester a line of sight, because Jester has a pair of arrows, as well as the ability to target multiple locations. And you're going to target him, and him, and you're going to bravo, and engage. Acknowledged. One. Beautiful. <laughs> that was exactly the plan. So if off to the side, we have now basically lit them all on fire. So if they want to move, they have to basically light themselves on fire. They're going to return fire on the Gauss Wolf, which is to be expected. The point defense systems on the Mackie and the Axemen kicking into life immediately in order to keep people alive. Uh, Paradox in the Rakatar probably doesn't have a very good shot on anybody, but if I can get a shot on the Bandit, that's not going to happen. Uh, I will, however, move into this. that there. Uh, that'll do. This location right here to immediately begin opening fire. Oh my god, the targeting is amazing. Even on you, it's pretty gosh darn good. You have a rotary pirate, but I don't really care. Uh, if I drill into you, you don't have that much armor, so we will run the guns at maximum rate. And the harasser, I don't have a very good shot at. Really, I've only got a shot at the J. Edgar. Does anybody have a weak side armor? The thumper is just ridiculous in the amount of armor, ridiculous in the amount of armor, ridiculous in the amount of armor, so yeah, no, kill that J. Edgar and kill it. Dead. Dead. Lovely. So we've got one of the local supporting convoy units already defeated. Um, getting to this bandit is not going to be easy. Killing these guys in general is just not going to be easy, and they are moving fast. So I'm going to have to get a line of sight on these targets. I'm going to have to start hitting them directly with some artillery shells. Although, I might be able to catch them with the Axeman. We will find out shortly. Uh, you have a good shot on the Harasser. Bad shot on the Thumper. Bad shot on the Bandit. Bad shot on you. Pretty terrible shot on you as well. Uh, I'm going to do my shell where it will do the most good, which is right in here. Uh, not ideal necessarily for some sorts of engagements, but this ought to help out a little bit. So, sniper artillery, indirect, high explosive. Target acquired. And good hit. Hey, that and we'll start pushing off over in this direction. Confirmed. Mockingbird in the rack hammer. And you or Coach? Coach in the catapult? Uh, yes, Coach in the catapult. Because I would like to continue to sort of pour on the heat. Double time. Let's go. 
so to speak. Oh, good, the accuracy is wonderful. Terrible, 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 as to be expected. Uh, so that's a luck to go down on the thumper. Make it a little bit easier for other people to actually nail, hopefully. He's moving on 14. I will kill you, I think. Uh, how much armor you got? Not enough. Copy that. that puts out most of the defenders at this point. One more for the trash. And then that frees up Mockingbird to come in. If she were to just shoot from here, yeah, it's not very good at all. Sprint on forward. See if we can't get you just a little bit closer. 18, 8, 8. Yeah, we're going to open fire with everything we've got. Run the gun. Run the gun. And let it rip. A couple of hits onto the side of the thumper. That will help out as we continue to push on in. However, it's about to be their rounds soon. And I believe I still have Showboat coming up at some point. Uh, showboat catching up is going to be a little bit of a task. I'm going to turn on our mask immediately and run off in this direction. See if we can't cut off this convoy at some point. And... Too bad I don't have fast cam for once, because this would actually be an excellent choke point to just lay in all kinds of mines. So immediately activate the mask because we can't really afford to sort of mess around and slowly earn our way into an actual good in uh, combat engagement location. We're just going to sprint this one hard and fast. So a little disappointed with the current opposition, but I suppose I shouldn't complain just yet. They may get reinforcements soon, and that'll of course be quite painful to have to deal with. Rush off in this direction, no target. That's okay. That's kind of not the plan, but expected. Shooting back at the catapult, may really get a little bit of hitting, but nothing too serious. Is taking burn damage. That was the point of the Inferno arrows, was that they would torch themselves as they tried to move out. So I will follow up on that. Uh, the fire is going to last for a little while, though, so that is a bit of a concern. The bandit needs to die quickly because he's getting away quite quite fast himself. He is a fast hovercraft, so if I don't deal with him soon, then nobody's going to be able to actually win. Well, we're not going to be able to win this. Thumper is going to drop a shell on top of himself. I love it. Do that more. It's a brilliant plan. And Coach. Coach is catapult up once again, and this time the enemy does not have spawn protection. <laughs> Alright, so we've identified all the targets in the zone. There's the bandit even. So we got two bandits. Uh, ooh, wow. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I got you. Uh, can shoot at you. Can shoot at you. It might be worth... I mean, I am in your back now. Do I have tandems? Burn of set fires? I do not. Okay, in this case, I think we light up the infernos. They will do a whole ton more damage. So, yeah, massive fire in the back of the thunder. Did get a penetration on him already, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a little bit too close for comfort, I suppose. I could run over here and stomp on him, but I don't want to do that. I'm actually a little bit annoyed by how far away from me you are. I'm surprised, actually, that I don't have you. Because it would appear that I have you. That's irritating. Uh, I think I'll reserve. Yeah, we'll reserve with you. That way I can bring up other people a little bit more aggressively. Death Crusade and the Thanatos uh, might actually be the perfect person to try and take on that fleeing bandit. Lay a sensor lock down on top of him. He's only got, you know, LR15, but at the end of the day, the problem is... Yeah, you're almost dead. The problem is the fact that he is so far ahead of the rest of the group. Uh, a direct fire artillery shell is just not going to happen. So what I can do is I can lay down a little bit more of the indirect shot. shot. And we'll start getting more damage onto the targets. How are you doing? You are penetrated through the roof. You are penetrated through the roof. Okay. Waiting for orders. Gauswolf. Uh, the Gauswolf actually may be the perfect person to try and take this on. Copy that. Maybe not. The accuracy looked pretty terrible. Um... Yeah, the accuracy is pretty terrible. The Pirate Mars, no, nah, you're going to target him. Warlord it up, we'll go for the Thumper. Holy sh... What are you thinking? Plowing two Gauss rifles into the back. Howl? Oh, we need to have a conversation. Dear God, that bandit is moving fast. Fire to shoot the catapult. The catapult is not in a good way right now. Seriously, she fired both of her gas rifle shells into him. You're gonna get away, aren't you? Not if I can help it. I have ways of helping it. Standing by. 
So the rack hammer can move in right there. And I have jammed on one gun. I'm gonna warlord it. I'll go for the pirate. Mainly in a hope that I don't shoot my friend in the back twice in a row. No, seriously, that was ridiculous. And the Pegasus is going to be able to get on my back. Holy shoot. That is extra double plus bad. And incredibly nimble at that. Need more fire. I need a lot more fire. Which I have and will provide. Uh, as soon as the moment is right. Which is not right now, but seriously, the, the shot to the back of the catapult is really concerning now, actually. Because there is basically no protection there. Well, at least he decided to shoot somebody else in the back. That's reasonable, I suppose. Taking burn damage as they continue to move through. Commander. Jester and Finn is up. Finn's Mackie. 21, 28, 35, 61, 29. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Actually, what you're going to do is you're going to lay a sensor lock first. If you've got the range. Which you don't. Okay, so you're going to lay a shell first. Drop it right on top of him. Firing on target. Okay, another couple of hits, which is, I suppose, good. And now you move forward. Which means Ready Jester forward. will now multi-target once again with his, with his Inferno arrows. Oh, you're kidding me. You don't have the shot? You better get the shot, because we are counting on that. On my way. Double time. Okay, good. Maybe. You know what? I'm going to full on Warlord. I don't know if Warlord's going to. No, I can't. Ooh, almost. That would have been bad. You can't uh, multi target if you Warlord. And beat. Vigilance. The reason why we're confirming the Vigilance is he'll be able to make another artillery attack before they can. B. And fire away. Copy that. Dead. Dead. Enemy oh, that was good. This Aeromech is just the bomb. Almost literally. <laughs> uh, you did not jam any of your guns. You can be basically on top of the... Ooh. I mean, you can be on top of multiple targets. Let's take a peek. No, not if you do that. So you got to commit to one bit or the other. And I am not going to get to you, I don't think. Well, what's, the, what's the shot looking like? Probably not good. Showing 30s right now, but that's not necessarily accurate. Uh, the thing you have to remember is that assumes you're shooting from where you're standing. Okay, uh, let's make sure this thing goes away. I don't want to have to deal with it. Beautiful. It's part of the escort group, which is not exactly critical, but I did want to make sure that it wasn't all that dangerous. Okay, moving through the fire is good. Another Pegasus going to sort of drift in right in behind us, as to be somewhat expected. Maybe she's in the back. Please don't shoot my catapult in the back. Yeah, which you're taking it quite wonderfully. Continue doing that fantastic job. You should be proud. Good to go. Um, again, not having the... Uh, turn off the mask. You're not going to need it. Unfortunately, it's we we don't have a line of sight on it. We don't see the targets directly, and so we don't get advantages. Uh, maybe your lasers can blow apart the uh -huh. thumper. Oh, and they did. Lovely. So now you just need to walk over and chop oh, him to God. pieces, and you've got the enemy force destroyed. Good to go. Jester's vulture is ready to fight again. I love it. Uh, switch over to guideds. And give him the warlord now. Now is the po point for Warlord. Locked on with all weapons. It's time Dead. Okay, primary target has been eliminated, which is lovely, and you're gonna shift over slightly to the side. Heading out. Twin arrow. Highly effective. And you. Location I'm gonna kill you. Why? Because you decided to be very irritating to me. Uh just go to straight up SRM. Let's throw in acids. No, oh, the assets are stupid and efficient. Well, inaccurate. So, yeah, just go standard SRM. Here we go. Oh, that was enough. Lovely. Frag the vehicle. How's your jamming systems? 
Uh, you're still jammed on one. Okay, so enemy reinforcements showed up to the north-ish. So in order to get out of here, we have to go through them anyway. Yes, come in. So please give me... Oh, right there. Well, uh, we'll get a pace forward and we'll see what ends up happening. Full speed, no shoot. Nope, we have a target. That was the hope. Uh, a grasshopper with a whole metric ton of light BBCs. Uh, we have high explosives. He deserves them. Target marked. Oh, we missed, but you know what? We still hit because we're using artillery, and we don't actually have to hit you in order to make you suffer. Which was the point. Uh, that was actually the reason why I ended up taking this mission, was because I was like, I have artillery now. I can probably take on that convoy. And I ended up being right, although I would have much preferred if Howell had not fired two gas rifle shells into the back of a friendly unit. Dear God, girl, what were you thinking? I know exactly what she was thinking. She wasn't. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen to the best of com combat commanders. Okay, Finn as well in the Mackie. And he'll lay down a shell as well. Just right there. Enjoy it. It's just for you. And continue to move on forward. Commander. Mockingbird in the rack hammer. Uh, does need to shed a little bit of stability, but it's not the worst thing of them. Her armor, back armor did manage to hold, which was the important bit. I hear and ya. Showboat can sort of start slow walking. I don't want to move her too quickly just yet. I want to keep her with the group. Uh, the worst thing you can do with a melee mech is set it all on its own. If it is the person that is in front and far out of, ahead of the friendlies, it can go quite badly very quickly. Okay, catapult. Catapult has a lot of things to sort of overcome. I got you. And that has unjammed all of its MMLs. So now it has the ability to completely torch anybody at once, basically instantly. Let's get on forward. Do we have any more identifications? We did. We've got our Marauder as well. This one is twin ERPPC and one, two, three, four, f and yeah, five medium lasers, which is pretty impressive actually. Uh, I am going to give him a drink. I missed. So basically shot himself. Good to go. Uh, showboat. Stick to your friendly groups. You don't want to be all on your lonesome. You'll push out forward when the time is right. And not before. Grasshopper, running on forward. Doesn't look like it was a full-on sprint, though. Uh, the Goss Wolf is going to be able to clear her temperature problems shortly. And in the meantime, we'll just sprint as fast as we possibly can. Oh, they came in from the left. Pirate Zephyr. Avoiding the flames quite carefully. Firing towards the gas wall, but once again, we had the AMS all set up ready for that protection. So that we were able to avoid incoming damage. Uh, the Vulture. Oh, uh, the Vulture has options, as it often does. Just standing still, it can't actually see anybody because it's facing literally the wrong direction. But we can move right like that. 81%, 46%, Enjoy. I missed one, but hit the other. So I suppose it washed out in the end. Uh, give me a shape charge and a sensor lock. Not really interested in the grasshopper. The grasshopper is 65 tons. It does have a whole bunch of light PPCs on board, but I'm not all that enamored by it. Not gonna lie. Uh, 73. Taking the shot. Good hit. 96 damage on that impact. And walk on forward, as you do with your artillery. Uh, rack hammer, gonna shift on aggressively as well. Yeah, we'll keep you with the group. It doesn't look like they've got much in the way of uh, that, large area of effect weapons. Unlike us, who is, you know, packing a considerable amount of them. The Rakatar isn't gonna run right over here. Uh, direct line of sight, please. Uh, okay, walk into it. That's the direct I was looking for. Accuracy is not great, but you know what? If you hold down the trigger, eventually you can cause enough damage to hurt things. Who is next? Okay, gonna get some missiles coming in. Nothing too serious just yet, although it did start a fire in the middle of the desert, which is not good. Fires in the desert tend to last for a while. As we are currently in a mission. Oh, this is should this all should blow out probably next turn. Or at the end of this turn. Yeah, it did. Brilliant. Catapult. Catapulton. Copy that. 
in range to engage. Uh, you have basically no health left, so switch over to your LRMs. Ooh, it doesn't matter. No, oh, well, if it doesn't matter, then uh, just nail it with normal. Uh, listen, kill SRMs. Well, I since I like to bonus that a bit. Got a lock. But let's see if we can't remove him. 32% accuracy, and yeah, shattered. Absolutely destroyed. Destroyed. That's taken care of. Shove it. Show us not quite in a position to go out on her own, but she is going to just run on forward. No line of sight just yet, but that's fine. And Death Crusade. Yep. Standing steel, artillery strike against the Grasshopper, Marauder, or the Bola. The Bola is actually a fairly decent target. Uh, we want to make sure that he doesn't get the swarms too much on us. How much armor you got? Uh, you got a fair amount. But a sufficiently focused amount of firepower should actually break you. And we'll move a little bit wide. No Avoid problem. the flames where possible. Commander? Paradox, Rektar. Uh, you jammed your gun doing it, but you know what? You did a great job. Uh, nearly opened him up all on your own, which was great. Get some of our direct fire out as fast as we can. The rack is back online. So, cleared the jam quite nicely. You are not having a good day. Although, take heart. You're not going to be fully targeted again. The next couple of rounds are going in for this bola to see if we can't shatter it before it can move. I can't guarantee that the bola is not on the move immediately right now, which would kind of ruin my accuracy problems. Oh, grasshopper on the jump. Okay. Where'd you jump to? You jumped in close to a friend. Yes, Makes okay. sense. I can't blame you for that one. Accuracy is low, but you know what doesn't matter? Hmm, maybe I want to try somebody first. Yeah, it should be Mockingbird. Waiting for orders. Yeah, Mockingbird's got, still got to get uphill. Still keep that racket arm, or that rack hammer moving. Ready to get it on. All right, we'll give him the uh, the Inferno standard special. Good hits. Well, not hits, but close enough in order to cause effect. Aye, aye. That's kind of the point. Commander. Hal's gonna surge on up using her cavalry mech. She's happy to be back at her Mad Cat after having used the uh, the champion for a while. The champion has a lot of good hole punching capability, but the Mad Cat is well, the Mad Cat. Swarm, in, incoming swarms, managing to nick us a little bit, but nothing too serious. We were in a decent point defense range, and the Mackie. Uh, 21 is not worth taking that. We are going to first turn off from shape charged high explosive, and we're just going to drop a shell right on top of him. Locked on. Ho oh, ho, caused some damage there. And we'll keep on pushing forward. Let me phase on 14. This has got to be the Marauder. At least I think it's the Marauder. Yeah, Marauder shifting slightly to the side. All right, Death Crusades, Thanatos actually has a direct line of sight to you. Does not have direct range just yet, though, but the Thumper will suffice. So, yeah, Shape Charge. Shattered. Oh, lovely. You can run, but you can't hide. Thanatos, a flexible brawling mech with a fairly phenomenal uh, supplementary gun on it. Really can't knock it set up. Or at least I don't think... I think it's a fairly Confirm. great design. Maybe not amazing, but I think we came up with something really good with it. Because you've got a solid amount of missiles, cores. You've got a, frankly, really good amount of firepower when it comes to the... Um, when it comes to a closer range okay. build. Because we do have the four medium pulse lasers. Which Ready really you can't... You can't sort of ignore that, that amount of firepower that it brings to the table. Yes, Inferno Guide. Locking in all weapon systems. Good job. No problem. On my way. So I'm just gonna start Waiting boiling them from long range. <laughs> oh, this feels cruel, but you know what? I don't feel at all bad about it. I have been shelled and bombarded and blasted before, and you know what? It's finally time that I get to put on put down mine. Marauder having to walk through the fire. I'm not gonna let you get away. <laughs> You're gonna walk through that fire until you bail out of the mech. Why do you think I put in so much Inferno ammo onto it? Because it's really, really good. <laughs> well, I got a few more rounds of shooting with it though, so I should sort of ration it, which I kind of am. Uh, got to destroy the Grasshopper, and then the Marauder gets hit with the fire. Although if they keep moving together, this is not gonna end well for them. <laughs> grasshopper bouncing away. Okay, trying to 
two, three, four. He's just has so many light PPCs. He just can't hit the target, though. Somewhat to be expected. His heat is critical. Oh, bad news for you, buddy. Mackie is 29 and 48. Uh, we'll drop a shell on you. I'm just going to keep shelling you. I could try and move in for something a little bit more uh, direct. But I don't need to. I can continue against bombardment quite effectively. Coach in the catapult. You're going to move in around here, and that's your target. You have identified it quite accurately. All risk of mills. Burn away. Big surgeon heat. Uh, Rakatar, if you don't mind, I would like to try and clear the board. People that I don't really care about. So all risks up. Kicking the warlord. You are shooting to the front, which is not super effective. But I'm hoping, with a little bit of luck, we can manage to touch off the right torso, which is his entire special engine. So an XL engine, incredibly vulnerable. And we took advantage of that. Okay, sensor lock. Sensors locked on. Switch over to a high explosive round. Just start dropping him in behind him. I got him. We want to cause a little damage. We want to start panicking him. Uh, but we're not actually looking to kill him like this. Got something you want done? Yes, what I want you to do is I want you to target him with just the Inferno. And just one only, please. Confirmed. Yes, more heat. More heat. Is she going to back off because I don't want you walking through the fire? And then Howl. Howl can keep on coming around. I probably shouldn't have done that, but you know what? It's amusing to me. And Finn. Receiving you. Artillery as well. Again. Not looking to kill. Looking to panic. Uh, you Assistant don't holding. care about heat. So that's fine. Heading out. Maki Brood's Raghammer uh, can take a walk to finally clear that stability damage. No, no longer need to be running at maximum speed. So the worst damage that we took in this, so far, has been self-inflicted by just horrible, horrible luck. Two missed Gauss Shuffle sh shots, both of them seeming to zero in and destroy one of our friendlies. Turn in heat? Oh, you didn't. So if we keep it nice and clean, you weren't supposed to do that. Uh, target his face. That way we can reduce the amount of heat all over the place. Or the amount of damage. You want to spread it across the entire thing. Death Crusade in the Thanatos. Okay. And of course we want to take aim at the head. Switch over to a shape charge for the 75 damage that we need in order to punch through. And we're going to shut off everything else because I don't want to accidentally kill you. Boom. A perfect pinpoint strike to the face. So yeah, the, uh, the worst... Oh, we get oh, we can grab the entire Marauder, no problem. If it bundles well, we get it even better. Because <laughs> this is a 6 of 25 priority salvage. That'll be lovely. 155,000. Yeah, who cares? We killed the gun away. We got everything away. This was dumb. Uh, I'm not going to lie. This was very dumb. I'm very irritated by that. Howl, what the hell? <laughs> That's really the only way to put it. Oh, they did bundle it. So we got ourselves a Marauder, which is cool. A uh, pair of ER PPCs, should we want them? Uh, medium pulse lasers, medium lasers, rotary pirates. Eh, the rotary pirates are pretty meh. Another thumper artillery piece, don't mind if I do. A whole bunch of fusion cores. 300. Uh, do I want the 280? I have two of them. How many 300s do I have? I have two of them. Uh, 215s. Who could just buy them to sell? I mean, they're only 215s. Buy to sell that. Uh, gyro heavy. What is this? France entrenched after walking, minus 20 stability taken, 70 stability threshold, weighs 20% of one tenth of chassis tonnage. Okay. It's pretty heavy, actually. Uh, thunder improved. I was just commenting about needing thunder, but no. Uh, that's for the rack, which I don't need. Ammo thumper. I need it if I'm going to make more. Uh, SRM Inferno. I have six tons. I'm good on that. It's the other campaign that I'm desperate for more. All right. There we go. 
didn't get any more mech parts. Got some flamers, medium pulse, a thumper artillery. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we've basically got another free mech. Uh, we'll have to compare it to the Black Knight. They're both 75 ton mechs. Maybe one will have slightly better setups than the other. Although the Black Knight does have that torso cockpit option, which is really, really hilarious. <laughs> I haven't constructed it yet. I'm not sure if I actually want to do it. But it is an interesting, fascinating, truly fascinating idea to load a mech up like that. I'm, I'm really tempted, not gonna lie. Although, I do miss out on some pretty significant accuracy bonuses from the arms, but we'll have to see. After all, uh, 51,000, yeah, most all of that is going to be part of rebuilding the catapult. Although the rack hammer also took a pretty rough hit on that one. Uh, and the catapult is still being fixed, I suppose. I'm not really sure if I want to keep it. Come over to storage. And, yeah, a brand new Marauder 4S. So, let's ready that one up and see what we managed to steal. Marauders. Always sexy. Alright, refit. What do you got? What do you got for me? What's left inside the mech? We have managed to save a plus two, a double heatsink, an ERPPC, and some double heatsinks, and a BC energy. Mm. Okay, uh, the garbage. Three energy, three energy, ooh, that's nice, and an energy in the head. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's really good. I need to check something real quick. The Black Knight. That's what I thought. So the way the Black Knight had to build the, um, the plasma mech was one, 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 one. All over the place. This one can actually do it better. Because what I can do with this mech... Pull everything out, strip it out. Two, two, one. And if I have weapon mounts, which I may not... I have one weapon mount. Okay, so it's not as big of a deal. But if I had two weapon mounts, what I could do is put two there. Uh, another thing I can build is just a long top mech. I have the stuff for it, I just don't want to bother with it. Double thumper on a shoulder might be an idea. I mean, the thumpers have been demonstrating that they're absolutely phenomenal because of the lower arm actuator. The the increased accuracy is really, really great. Actually, let's let's take a look at that. We we haven't ever really looked at that specific loadout, I don't think. Uh, so first things first, this thing had a 300 rate of fusion core. Let's replace it, because I have enough cores to do that. And yeah, 300. Put that back in there. So it now has an engine to run. And the weapons, of course, etc. Thumper. Oh, we can't. Thumpers are too big. By a significant margin. Um, so yeah, we could do something like that. Uh, do something similar to what we did in the other one. In the Thanatos, specifically. In fact, we could build basically the same thing minus the missiles. Uh, that appears to be a bit of an option. Or we could do that. Long Tom artillery. Although I actually don't think there's we have the ammo for it. Now that I think about it. I think we never found long time ammo. Yeah, we've got sniper and thumper ammo to make it work. But we do not have long tom ammo. Oh the twin thumpers are uh, no. On the king crab would be no. That'd be such a waste. I think. Maybe. Right. Uh also it doesn't have the lower armor actuators to make it good. You have no ballistic yeah, no ballistic. See, so you cry out for a big ballistic in your shoulder. You really do. But I already have a Marauder. <laughs> I don't really need a second one. <laughs> Although I could make another flame bird mech. <laughs> the Hornet design is always ridiculous. Uh, guided mortar. Uh, not something that I can actually use. LRX are hot garbage. And machine guns are not really something I've ever really bothered using. Maybe I should learn how to do it at some point. Heavy flamers. Uh, require heavy flamer ammo. Missiles, Elrim, Acids, Listen, Kill, Streaks. Yeah, nothing too special. Narc, Haywire, and Tag. Cooling pods now. Yeah, targeting battle control is pretty nice. The Triacorn hat. No, absolutely not. So nothing really interesting in the faction shop right now, unfortunately. So I can't really like rely on that to, to do most of my 
my finding more gear for various things. Uh, nothing in the in the normal shop too. It's all pretty pretty bleak actually. I don't know if I can actually build the Marauder into anything like worthwhile. Because in order to do that, I'd build a long tom. That's what I would do. Let's strip all that out. Equipment would go or engine heat core. Need a 300 fusion core. Weapon, etc. Long time artillery takes up the whole torso, which means no engine, no, no engine modifications whatsoever. Uh, but I do, of course, have gyros and other things, so we would do. Um, yeah, clan endo, light pharaoh, repair it. it. Gives me four tons of ammo. I mean, that's that's basically what I do. Um, I could do other things, like also including a gyro. Um, Sure, gyro, ultralight, why not? Gives me about seven tons. Which is good. Uh, I could I could add in a couple of support systems with this. But what would be the point? This, here, here's something that's been kind of bugging me lately. Not really bugging me, but something that I've been noticing. So if we go and take a look at the long time artillery, it's going to be doing... I need to check on the Mackie. Just so I can compare the two and show the numbers. So show me the Mackie. Refit. So, the sniper artillery from the Mackie does 75 damage, weighs 20 tons, and has a massive AOA, but immense mass, minus one direct fire accuracy, recoil four, weapon varies between plus or minus 15. So, as high as 90, as low as uh, 60? Yeah, 60. If we come over here to the long tom, we're looking at 90 damage, plus or minus 30, as low as 60, as high as 120. But it weighs 30 tons. So for 10 tons more, a bigger swing in how much damage it does. Like, I kind of don't think that's worth it. I'm starting to come to the thought that maybe that's just garbage. <laughs> and you shouldn't ever try to use it. Now, I could, of course, be wrong on that one. But it just kind of feel a little bit weird that you would put so much effort into that. So, that's just something that's been sort of bouncing around in my head lately. And I just don't know if it's worth it. I wonder what we could do to the gas wolf. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't, but... He's weighed 12 tons. The number weighs how much? 15 tons. Yeah, we, we you could turn it into a twin thumper machine. You'd have 3 tons of ammo, which is not enough to run that, but you could do it. It would be 24 rounds, which is actually 12 rounds of shooting, so that's actually not bad. Thanatos has proven... To be far better than what my expectations were which has me pretty excited to try it out on more more things i wouldn't do that to the king crab i don't think that would be a good idea uh the black knight hmm. black knight of the marauder is really the question they have the same hard points except not quite um the black knight has support hard points the Marauder does not. The Marauder has ballistic hard points. The Black Knight does not. The big thing sort of in the Marauder's favor is the Marauder has three weapon hard points on the arms. And that's pretty big. Because I can throw in 300. Can I go lower? I think I can. So 5'8", 280. Is 5'8", 275 is a 5'8", 270, is a 4'8". So a 275 or diffusion core. But you know, that means you've got a smaller top cap, which is fine. I mean, can I even do it? Equipment, or no weapon. I think we tried this before. I want to see if I can make it work. It's just so much weight. Of course, we need to go to equipment. It would be engine heat, engine, XL. Yeah, absolutely. This would work. Barrow clan, uh, endo clan, and then XL gyro. Oh, what's in here? XL gyro that completes your center stack. Uh, 
weapon. UPC. Plasma cannon. Plasma cannon. Ammo for that. Would be double plasma. 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 This gives me 55, 65. Uh, engine heatsink kit. A radical proto double. And then like six, because I'm at 153. Uh, engine heatsink. Heat sinks. Uh, prototype double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll find the weight later, don't worry. 88 for 114. Versus. So a little bit better on that. Um, what do you think? What else do I save weight with? 1.4 tons I don't think I can grab. That would be ideal, but I can't. So I'm still 0.4 tons, but that's okay because I then come over to structure. I have a patchwork materials. I throw the patchwork materials in. I'm underweight now a little bit. And I throw five tons into, or five points into each of my sides. And here gets me, well, more. Because I'm getting the accuracy bonus of the arms on all of them. I've got six plasma cannons to just unload on somebody. Like, that seems to be enough. <laughs> it's super expensive, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. Just uh, just a thought. It's possible. It does run toasty. I mean, we're, we're in the hole by 18, so it's not ideal. But it could work. Uh, then, you, of course, throw an energy targeting computer on there and... Where is that? Energy plus, or f probably no, a flak. Put on a flak, put in a cockpit. Console plus plus to move early. Or a rangefinder for extra accuracy. And an arch sheath beacon 24. Sure, why not? Yeah, I don't know if that's better than the than the black light or not. I wasn't expecting to use marauder so easily. Uh just the single headshot was pretty lucky. We'll hang on to this for a few more days. Uh, before the end of the month, we'll sell one of them. So, not sure which one we're gonna We may even sell the catapult. I don't know. We don't really need it. But that's going to do it for today's episode, folks. I have been Tyrion. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button and subscribe before you see a notification. Every time I post one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment. And make sure you join us for our streams on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. On Wednesdays and Saturdays, we play Rogue Tech uh, Apollo's Vipers, a Clan Stark version of the campaign, which was quite interesting as we're attempting to get ourselves back into artillery. And then you know, on Fridays, we play MechWarrior 5 with members of our community. We have a huge blast in the postgame. And I will see you all in the next episode.